Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. How will Prince Harry celebrate Father's Day? Last year, the Duke of Sussex marked his first Father's Day with a beautiful sepia-toned photo featuring his newborn son. It was adorable, heartwarming, and just a delight to see while scrolling through Instagram. But, given how much his family's life has changed over the past year, how Prince Harry will celebrate Father's Day in 2020. For starters, due to the ongoing coronavirus pandemic and social distancing measures, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will most likely have a low key celebration at their new home in Los Angeles with their son Archie. Duck Rabbit. After all, that's how the couple reportedly spent Mother's Day last month with their son and Markle's mom, Doria Ragland, who lives nearby, according to Oprah magazine. Although a big backyard BBQ at Kensington Palace with all the royal dads would certainly be fun, it seems highly unlikely that Prince Harry would be able to travel the UK to spend Father's Day with his dad Prince Charles and older brother Prince William, especially considering that Los Angeles County could still be on lockdown until July, according to the Los Angeles Times. Another reason Prince Harry's Father's Day celebrations could be low-key. As you may recall, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced earlier this year that they'd be stepping back from their senior royal roles in an effort to live a more peaceful life, Prince Harry said in January. I hope it helps you understand what it had to come to, that I would step my family back from all I had ever known, to take a step forward into what I hope can be a more peaceful life. When Prince Harry and Markle officially stepped back from their royal duties, they also stopped using their official Instagram account, Sussitorial. So if Prince Harry does decide to share a sweet tribute to fatherhood on social media this year, it's hard to say where that would be posted. Last year, the couple celebrated Father's Day with a photo on Instagram. Happy Father's Day! And wishing a very special first Father's Day to the Duke of Sussex. The caption on a photo of newborn, Archie clutching onto his dad's finger read. In the past, members of the royal family have publicly celebrated Father's Day with posts on social media. Last year, Prince William and Kate Middleton observed Father's Day with a simple Happy Father's Day post on Twitter with a photo of him and his youngest son, Prince Louis. Privately, Prince William reportedly spent the day with his family. The royal family typically tends to spend family-centric holidays, like Father's Day, with family in private. So while celebrating Father's Day during a pandemic might not be ideal, a low-key day at home with his adorable son and wife doesn't sound too bad. And so on to other news and... Meghan and Harry just faced another public blow. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been dealing with a lot of changes since making the decision to step back from their roles as senior royals. That includes the circumstances around their charitable work, something that is obviously important to both the son of Princess Diana, who was a prominent philanthropic force, according to Harper's Bazaar, and the former Suits actress who the outlet notes also has a passion for philanthropy. One of the ways that Harry and Meghan are hoping to continue to use their influence to help others is through their Arkawell organization, an initiative that is, in part, named for their son, Archie. It was launched in order to replace their Sussex royal brand. In April 2020, The Telegraph explained that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are working on plans to run emotional support groups, a multimedia educational empire, and even launch a well-being website under the Arkawell umbrella. However, when it comes to admirably ambitious endeavors like this, there tends to be plenty of red tape that needs to be dealt with. And in Harry and Meghan's case, a few of the seemingly minor details have created what could be a major headache 
for the royal pair who are simply striving to use their influence to make the world a better place. A few little mistakes have caused a big problem for Arkawell. Before Prince Harry and Meghan Markle can really get things rolling with Arkawell, the pair need to file all the necessary paperwork that's associated with a charitable organization. Unfortunately, in June 2020, the Daily Mail reported that the application to trademark Arkawell has been rejected. But why would such a noble initiative be rejected? Well, apparently they messed up. According to The Sun, the former royals didn't sign the application, it was too vague, and they didn't pay all the fees required. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who are now based in Los Angeles, were reportedly sent an irregularity notice by the United States Patent and Trademark Office addressing a catalog of errors. The notice features a number of changes which need to be made by the couple's attorney, Marjorie Witter Norman, by August 22, 2020. Otherwise, the application will become abandoned. That's right. While the Daily Mail notes that their trademark will be held without being active until the necessary amendments are made, and the couple will also have to pay additional fees to have their paperwork processed if they don't fix their application ASAP, then it might be thrown out completely. While we're sure that wouldn't stop them from creating goodwill opportunities, it certainly would be another bump in the relatively unnavigated road ahead of them. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Plans for Arkawell Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will surely be able to take on countless projects thanks to their Arkawell organization, that is, if it ever launches. According to The Sun, if and when the royals proceed with their philanthropic plans, their non-profit will offer classes, lectures, seminars, conferences, workshops, and retreats on a variety of topics, and also conduct and host events and exhibitions for cultural, sporting, health, mental health, and entertainment purposes. Beyond that, there will be the potential to self-publish articles, magazines, books, music, podcasts, television shows, and computer software. Impressive and inspirational. Oh, um, yeah. But that's not all. Remember that aforementioned well-being website? Well, it will supposedly be similar to the former actress's deleted blog, The Tig. For those who are unaware, The Tig was a popular hub for the discerning palate. Those with a hunger for food, travel, fashion and beauty. Think. When if Paltrow's goop, but arguably savvier and less controversial. Of course, it will be interesting to see how Meghan runs her rumored website now that she's a royal. Another analysis. Meghan Markle was unhappy with royal life, but didn't show it. Expert claims. She played it very well. Was Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, more unhappy and she let on before she and Prince Harry made their exit from royal duties. While she expressed in a 2019 interview how challenging it had been to deal with the constant media scrutiny, she carried on with grace and a smile. Underneath the cheery facade, however, one royal expert believes Meghan might have been struggling more than she showed. Meghan shared how hard things had been for her and Prince Harry. During her 2019 interview for Harry and Meghan, An African Journey, Meghan touched on how challenging things had become in the spotlight after she and Harry received so much negative media attention. I've said for a long time to H that's what I call him. It's not enough to just survive something. That's not the point of life. You've got to thrive. You've got to feel happy, she said at the time. I think I really tried to adopt this British sensibility of a stiff upper lip. I tried. I really tried. But I think what that does internally is probably really damaging. She continued, The biggest thing that I know is that I never thought that this would be easy, but I thought it would be fair, and that's the part that's really hard to reconcile. When the interviewer asked Megan about her mental health, she shared that things had not been easy, noting, 
Thank you for asking, but not many people have asked if I'm okay, but it's a very real thing to be going through behind the scenes. She put on a brave face. Despite the admission that she had found the scrutiny overwhelming, Megan carried on by putting on a brave face in public. Body language expert Judy James spoke about this during an episode of the pod, Save the Queen podcast when she was asked, Did you pick up on the fact that Harry and Meghan weren't happy? James said of Meghan. She clearly played it very well. All marks to her because she said that she gone through a lot of grief, but she never showed it, and I think the actress side helped her to get through that. She continued, I looked through acres of footage, and she always got a good smile on her face. She always looked engaged. She'd always got quite an excited eye expression, and she always looked clearly besotted with Harry, and I think that possibly made it less obvious. Prince Harry, however, showed signs of being unhappy. Meghan might have put on a brave face, but James believes that Prince Harry showed some subtle signs that he wasn't happy. James explained, I think we saw Harry change so much. I could always see the rift between him and William anyway, going back right to the first days of Harry's marriage and meeting Meghan. He went from being this Jack the Lad character, and we used to see him all the time with William, looking like a couple of jokers. She continued, if they turned up at weddings, oh here they come, what are they going to get up to? Particularly Harry. And then suddenly, and I think it could have been put down to the fact that he had got responsibilities in life at last, with a wife and then a child, but I think he was looking way too unhappy, way too serious, way too annoyed really. James added, clearly he had a very, very difficult decision to make. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Don't stop.